I think she's marked good enough. She just went over the bottom of the frame. Oh, she just flew away. Come on, baby, come back. Oh, she flew away. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Bruce's Bees. Up here at the farm where I grew up, and uh, there's the house up there on the hill. Uh, these are, I kind of call these my farm bees up here, the farm bee yard. Got some things we're gonna do, do today, but before I get started, I thought I'd just go through and show you I kind of what's going on with the bees up here. Just kind of look at the, maybe some activity at the hive entrance and kind of walk you through how they're doing. Now, this hive right here was the one that we put basically 15. We had a three uh, deep uh, nucleus hive that we put into those two bottom deep boxes. And if I can't remember, I came back. I think I did a little review the next week and showed you how strong they're doing. It's super strong bees. Look up in this swoop. Getting after a little bit. That was just a few weeks ago. Didn't use smoke or anything. They're chasing me down a little bit. So, um, yeah, they're exploding up into that box. I don't know if we'll get any honey off of them quite yet, but they are going ahead and growing and doing well. These two hives right here, we do have at least one, if not two boxes of honey on each of them. Um, these are some of the ones from my previous videos. I think I'm gonna walk behind them because the bees are getting after me a little bit uh, right now. Just walking through here without any smoke. That's right after chasing me around right now, actually. This right here is the duck box bees. Let me get up here close where you can see. They are so calm. And I have not done anything after I set them down here that night. I did that video. I was so tired that night and it was dark. Um, I will eventually get them out of here, I think. But for right now, they're just doing well in there. Look how calm they are. Weather is absolutely perfect right now. I have no idea how many bees are in there, how much comb is in there. That comb looks a little bit dark, the comb kind of back over in here. So... Maybe they've been in here for a while. It's kind of down in the swamp, if you'll remember. And uh, hopefully there'll be some good bees. Kind of interesting stuff. This right here is a little swarm I caught Saturday. Kind of smallish, but they, it went well. They were hanging on the underneath the on the brick or underneath the front porch. Let's kind of look right here. Now we got three frames. All I have was two or three frames. This one frame that was partially drawn out right here. They're, they're actually, they were mediums too. I don't even know if I had a deep. I don't, I might have, I don't even think I did. But if you look here, you can see this, this frame obviously had some comb drawn out on it, but they're starting to draw it out at the bottom a little bit there. I didn't see the queen when I caught them. It did go smooth though. They're starting to build on the bottom there because it is a medium frame and this is a deep box. When I came up here that evening, it was kind of late and I had not seen the queen, so she's not caged. And I didn't want them to swarm out on me. So one method you can use to kind of keep them in a hive is to uh, put a frame of brood in there. So I went over, I was going through some hives anyway and kind of peeked in and I found this frame of brood. This has been not even quite two days ago that I put them up here and you'll see that brood. These bees are totally calm. They're tending it, they're happy. Uh, and they're doing fine. I don't know, I never saw, a, well, there's the queen right there. I don't know if you can see her. She is probably a little virgin queen, maybe. She's not very big, or else she's recently mated. Let's see if I can find her on the screen. She is right there. I don't know if she's mated or not. She is very kind of smallish. Either she is a virgin queen and still needs to mate, or she's a recently mated queen. Her abdomen is not very big yet. So, hopefully she'll do well. And, uh, I lost her. I know she's down there. Oh, there she is right there. Right there beneath my finger. She's really calm, which leads me to believe she's probably mated. Um, she just hasn't really grown into her abdomen hasn't really grown yet to the size of a really mature queen but I'm kind of excited I see the queen there I think she's gonna do well hopefully so I'm gonna actually put these bees in a nuke because they really don't need to be in a full-strength hive right now 
And I'll probably, if I see her again then, let me get that thing to focus. If she just actually, well, I'll probably go ahead and mark her because I think she's definitely a young queen. And I may show you how I do that as well. Put them back away here for a minute and come back to this in a little bit. It'd be kind of a fun video. Putting them in a nuke and marking the queen. Now I just have started marking queens, so I, I may not use the best method, but it's worked so far with the ones I've used. These are some more production hives. These two right here are really doing well. Looks like I didn't get that box on very good when I put the queen excluders on a, a couple of weeks ago, but I expect at least one to two boxes of honey off of each of these. <clears throat> these two right here, we may get a little bit off these down here, but they're not, for some reason they haven't done as well. Um, we'll see, there's a flow going on right now. I really, I kind of peeked in on them the other day, Saturday ones up here Saturday evening, but I didn't really go through them. But my main purpose, we got a train going by back there. As you can tell, my main purpose today of being up here at the farm is to do some splits. These right here, these boxes, these nukes are actually uh, some of those original splits we did back about six or eight weeks ago. They've now blown up with the sleeping bear queen cells. They've blown up into these into these nuke double stack nukes. Well, there's a train over there, you can probably see it ride through the woods but I'll be quick here they've blown up in these double stack nukes I do have a customer who wants to buy a 10 frame hive for me so I'm gonna make sure I pick a really strong one for them and the others I'm gonna split into either two or three hives probably just gonna do kind of a walk away split type thing with them uh, right now availability of mated queens is not real good and I think this time of the year with the floor going the way it is it'll be a good time to do walk away splits and we'll do a video on that in a few minutes but uh so this right here is a nuke that originally was in a two frame uh, box and it's blown up it's basically they're basically filling that thing up it's a full basically a full strength nuke right now um, but all four of these when i peeked in saturday they all four look really good and strong this here is also a strong nuke if i remember right it was i brought it up here from mozart it's just one of the nukes i think for one of those splits and this is a two frame nuke right here. There was actually another nuke right here from that same splitting uh, event that had a drone layer in it, kind of like the video I did uh, a few days ago. And I basically took all the bees that were in this nuke and I dumped them over there a ways off. And um, I took the nuke away, but I left this little two frame box here. They were really struggling. There weren't many bees in there. I think those bees flew back and most of them went in here. There is a mate, there is a queen in here that's mated and she's real pretty. They're still trying to grow into this, but you can see there's quite a few bees in here. Let me get it set up over there and we will go put those bees in a nuke um, from that swarm. Okay, I'm back and set up now. We're gonna put this, the bees from this swarm I caught, just three, uh, really just two frames of bees. I'm gonna take them out of this 10 frame box and put them in a little nuke right here. The first thing I need to do, of course, is just set them over here. I'm gonna set the nuke up on the stand. Very gentle with everything. This will just be a better situation for these bees. Hopefully this camera angle is working. Um, not using the mic right now either. So we'll see how it goes. Now, something that I saw Mike Berry use, he's got something similar to this that might even be one of these tools. This is a simple Harmony hive tool and it's good to set things on, to pry things. You can stick it uh, behind boxes. Like if you got big, heavy boxes, like some of the production hives, you could put it here while you loosen up the other frames. Um, keep the back of the hive cracked while you're trying to work in there, or smoke them or whatever. Kind of a handy tool. It's 12 bucks from Simple Harmony Farms. I bought one just to see uh, what what I thought. It sounded like a good idea, and I still got to figure out all the many uses. But Mike Berry, I'll show you here in a minute if I get the opportunity. One of the things that he does with it to kind of help keep from smashing bees. The marker I use to mark the queen if we see her again. It's just a simple. It's called I think it's called Painter's Brand. It's an acrylic 
uh, paint marker from Walmart. I think it was two or three dollars, something like that. Maybe I think it was about that. Not bad at all. The label's falling off of it, but it's just a simple blue. Blue is the 2020. For this year, the, the blue is the color for your bees to mark the queens. Let's see if we can find her again. Um, she was not on this frame earlier. I'm just gonna let him keep this medium frame. Looks like they've all, so this is what Mike might use this tool for. Teach a smash and bees, so he could set it right back here like this. And lean it on there and that way there's space. Space up under the frame so it's not smashing the bees. And you can also lay it across the frames of a hive if you're in a, in a full sized hive with frames in it. What the bees will do with this is they will build, you can see they're already starting to do it, they'll build the wax so that hangs down. Um, and so they'll just fill up the box space with wax. I'm okay with that. I've got a few frames like this in other hives and it's not a big deal, but it looks to me like they're already starting to kind of build this wax up a little better here. They're starting to fill in some wax right there. And so I'm just gonna let them keep this frame. They've already kind of started working it, so why not, right? The next frame is the actual frame the queen was on when we peeked in a little while ago. The queen was on here. See if I can find her again so I can mark her. If I don't get her marked, I'm not too concerned about it, but it does make it easy. I'm gonna go ahead and mark her with the 2020 marker just because I'm pretty convinced that she's a brand new queen. If I knew for a fact that she was a virgin, I might not mess with her. There she is, right here. I don't know how well you can see, but she's right here. I'm not sure how well. Here's a fat paste where I'm gonna use this, this thing right here. Keep from smashing bees. If I can get the balance right there, it's kind of hard just on the edge like that. I'll relocate that queen. I see her. There she is. So what I do, and I can't really get a good close-up of this by myself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, here's the queen right here. I'm gonna kind of gently hold her down. Don't want to do it hard. Just kind of paint her. Just kind of put this marker on her little app. Oh, there she goes. She's trying to get away. So I don't blame her. Oops, she's running now. I actually got her marked a little bit. Just kind of hold her down. Okay, I think she's marked good enough. She just went over the bottom of the frame. Oops, she just flew away. Come on, baby, come back. Oh, she flew away. Hopefully she'll come back. Well, that wasn't too smart. If she doesn't come back, <laughs> like old uh, Brian says up there in Backyard Bees, North Carolina, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's the first time that's happened to me trying to mark a queen. Workers for my brother, he has a construction type business. But doggone it, I hope I didn't lose that queen. I guess this she'll come back, lots of times they do. Ugh. Anyway, there are some eggs in here so they can make a new queen if they need to, or I'll have to manage this if she doesn't come back, but maybe she will. She was not amused by that. I was just about to stick the frame back in and she flew away. So what I have here, I've got two frames of bees a frame of drawn comb that i put in there a new frame and another new frame she circled around up there i think she'll probably come back that's my guess anyway oh we have some more bees over here as well I'm starting to build that comb on the bottom of the frame. It's amazing. Lots of times the queens will come back if they do that. She flew and circled around up there and then she kind of flew off, but <laughs> well, that'll be really bad if she doesn't, but you know, live and learn, right? 
probably should have waited to mark her until they were a little more established, but I think she'll come back. Now they're kind of fanning. There several bees are circling around up here, so hopefully they'll draw her back in. Got a few bees in the box over here still, too. Well, I kind of show things as I go. It's a vlog, kind of a bee vlog, and so sometimes things don't go right. Hopefully these bees will figure it out. Hopefully she'll come back. She's a pretty little queen. You can see her in the earlier part of the video. But uh, if she doesn't, then we'll just deal with it. There are ways we can fix it. And we might have to do that, but I probably just took a little bit too much time. I might actually kind of just leave this. It does have an upper entrance, how I do my nukes, and so she should be able to find her way back. At least I hope so. And if not, we'll deal with it. Hope these bees will get everything settled down and figured out in the next little while while I do some of the splits. But I think I've rambled on long enough and showing you guys some things not to do. I was just taking too long, I think, doing everything. I should have just kind of, when she got antsy, I should have just stuck her back down in the box instead of mm -hmm. trying to continue marking her. She does have a small dot on her, on her thorax. Um, we have to see, and as she matures, I'm gonna leave her alone for now. If she gets matured and the hive gets a little stronger, if she comes back, then uh, I may try to mark her a little bit more, but don't even have to mark her. I just like to, I kind of think it's a good idea. First thing, first year I've done this, but I think it'll be a good year to help me keep track of, you know, the age of the queens in the future. This be, oh, there she is, right there. How about that? She flew right back down under on that frame. So I'm actually going to just put this frame back in there. And the mark is pretty good. Where is she? Yep, there she is. See her right there? Right there. Okay, I better not mess around. I better get this done. I'm actually going to stick it down in there and just shake the frame down in there. Make sure she ends up in the box. Okay, she should be in there. Not on here anymore. So we got lucky. How about that? <laughs> Like I say, y'all, a beekeeping's an adventure. Every single time, it seems like there's something to learn, or something new, or something fun that you experience. But I haven't had a lot of queens fly away, but it seems like most of the time they do come back. Okay, we're gonna sign off for now, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you like, hit that bell. Uh, then get on to this next video over here and get the some of these splits done. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. On the next video.